Um, is it possible to start a GoFundMe page for an unborn child? Hey loves, and welcome back to another juicy recap video on the TikTok community. And guys, I know what we all asked for in 2021 was to return back to our normal lives and make the pandemic go away, but it seems that 2021 is already going downhill for us since our favorite groomer, Zoe Laverne, is now pregnant. Yeah, guys, but don't worry, I'll be making a video tutorial for the baby on how to run away at a very young age. <laughs> Anyways, even with the shade, let's get serious right now because a lot of people were speechless by the latest news we received from Zoe, and that is her being pregnant. This all began when Zoe suddenly posted a TikTok video showing her 100% positive pregnancy tests, and guys, she even wrote a caption under her TikTok video saying, surprise! I'm so excited. Wow. Immediately after she posted the video, Zoe started clarifying that the baby father is not the 13-year-old TikToker Connor, but instead she's actually pregnant by her boyfriend Dawson. And guys, Zoe even turned the comments off under her TikTok video to avoid people from sending any hate towards her and her baby. This is the father of my child. Stop saying otherwise. How would that even make any kind of sense? Connor is 13. Nothing else happened besides a kiss. Stay in your own business. You are going to be such a great daddy. I love you so much. Thank you for changing my life so much and making me the happiest girl on earth. But, but, I... <laughs> As soon as the shocking news hit the TikTok community all of a sudden, a lot of TikTokers, including Isaac Presley and Chase Keith, started making fun of Zoe's pregnancy on social media. And of course, the entire internet was speechless by the news as well, to the point where tons of people started assuming that Zoe was faking her pregnancy for attention, as usual. At least the kid and the dad can be close in age. Just kissed a 13-year-old, no props, guys, no worries, totally casual. This has to be fake, bruh. While millions of people were dragging the hell out of Zoe for being pregnant, she actually decided to hit back at people this time by answering all of their assumptions. And guys, even her boyfriend, uh, sorry, baby daddy Dawson made a post about Zoe being pregnant by him and not Connor. The amount of people that have the guts to talk about an unborn child is so upsetting and heartbreaking. It really shows the generation we are in and how a lot of you weren't raised very right. They're very much real. If y'all want me to piss on another one while I live, let me know since you're so interested. For the idiots talking, I am the father. Zoe and Connor didn't do anything to have a baby. That's impossible. And if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. That's disgusting and a real low blow to talk about an unborn child. It's sickening. Anyways, after this entire pregnancy announcement turned into a disaster for Zoe as she was getting roasted left and right on social media, Josh Richards and Bryce Hall decided to have fun with the situation and throw shade at Zoe on Twitter by saying this, don't believe everything you see on the internet, I'm pregnant. And guys, the situation even took a turn later on when Zoe's ex-boyfriend decided to speak up on the issue and of course, Zoe immediately started trending on Twitter for the mess she caused by her devastating announcement. Zoe Laverne's life is a crazy life. God damn, I'm pregnant too. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on people sending hate towards Zoe Laverne for being pregnant? Do you think she's faking her pregnancy for attention or is she actually pregnant? Let me know in the comments down below. Are y'all really setting Addison Wright up just to make Nicki Minaj's fan base ruin her life? No, that's when we draw the line here. Get a job, get a hobby, or get some friends. I can't believe this is probably the third time I'm mentioning Nicki Minaj in my TikTok drama videos. But I guess TikTokers really have an obsession with getting attacked and doxxed by Nicki Minaj's fan base. As y'all remember, Mattia Palibo was the first ever TikToker who got himself into a huge mess after he made fun of Nicki Minaj's newborn baby by calling him fat. And on top of fat shaming Nicki's baby, he also continued to make jokes about the situation that led him into getting his home address, phone number, and even his parents' private information leaked online. But this was only the beginning for the huge war between TikTokers and Nicki Minaj's fan base, since Danielle Cohn was also the second TikToker who associated herself in a drama between her and Nicki's own sister. And of course, we all know what happened after. 
However, I must say this time the situation was quite different than the rest of the dramas that went down. Since, well, it looks like Addison Rae will be launching her singing career very soon. Yeah, guys, I know it's quite surprising how Addison Rae is another TikToker who's also interested in making music besides Nessa Barrett, Dixie D'Amelio, Jaden Hustler, and Lil Huddy, but apparently Addison will be dropping new songs very soon, despite how this is still just a rumor. It all went down when an insider decided to leak private information about Addison's new song and how she will be dropping an actual album this summer that features Nicki Minaj in it. Oh my god. This can't be real. I have Addison T. Benny Blanco produced her first single and it's coming out on March 19th. And her second single is coming early summer and will probably feature Nicki Minaj. Apparently her album is like actually serious. The second after this rumor was shared all over social media platforms, a lot of people started freaking out about it. In fact, people started attacking Addison for possibly having a song collaboration with Nicki Minaj. And guys, she even got dragged for also being the fifth TikToker who's making music at the moment. Here is how the internet reacted to the situation. I just saw something that said Addison Rae is making a song with Nicki Minaj and I swear to f if that's true I'm never listening to music ever again. Addison Rae starting a music career has to be a joke and if she really has a Nicki Minaj feature I might take myself out of this world. Maybe it's a different Addison. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Addison Rae allegedly collabing with Nicki Minaj in a new song? Do you think the rumor is true or it was just made up to set Addison up? Let me know in the comments. Do I really have to beg y'all to leave Vinny Hacker alone and let him breathe for a second? Please, please. Please. To get straight to the point, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the recent drama that went down between Vinny and his fans and how he received a lot of hate for hanging out with a girl called Samantha. Now, of course, we all know that Samantha is allegedly a Trump supporter, which made it very difficult for Vinny to publicly date someone who has a different political opinion than the rest of the internet. But his fan base was also annoyed by how Vinny missed the chance to be with the new YouTuber Nelia Devora and choose Samantha instead. All of this, you guys, made many of his fans dis like Vinny's actions and call him out for it. However, the entire internet was 100% convinced that both Vinny and Samantha are actually dating because they both were caught hanging out together for the second time this week after many fans speculated that Samantha was in Vinny's bedroom in these pictures. And guys, this speculation started a huge mess on social media since it turned out later that they both weren't together after Samantha cleared it up and confirmed that she was alone in her bedroom. I've already gotten 10 replies. No, this is my room. Stop. Knock it off. Anyways, at this point, Vinny was boiling with anger as to how to prove people are still sending hate towards Samantha and being in his business. And guys, he later went nuts on his fan base on social media for still caring too much about his private life and his relationship when he already asked them not to. Jesus f Christ, I'm going to go insane. Are you serious? That's not my room. I went from barely anyone caring about my life to everyone caring too much about it. It's not caring too much about the life I'm living, but about my personal life and boundaries. After Vinny expressed how tired he was from people making up rumors and assumptions about him and Samantha, a lot of people were quick to switch on Vinny and defend him from people invading his privacy. Y'all invade yourself into his personal life for no reason. Homie cannot catch one full day of peace. Y'all make assumptions and then get mad when he start yelling. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on people still invading Vinny Hacker's privacy? Also, let me know your thoughts on today's juicy recap down in the comments below. I love you so much!